the ultimate taboo that no one wants to talk about. The one thing that most women spend on average 1,728 hours, which is 72 days straight doing, which of course is removing body hair. The thing that we were born with and will do everything in our power to get rid of because women should not have body hair. And if you do, Houston, we have a problem. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for another video. It's time to talk about the beautiful world of body hair. <sighs> Where do I begin? You know, first let's talk about the main methods you can use to get rid of that unwanted hair. First, we have the classic method of shaving, which consists of using a razor to cut off the hair at the surface of the skin. Pros being shaving is a quick, easy, and inexpensive way to remove the unwanted body hair. For cons, shaving can cause nicks, cuts, and skin irritation, commonly known as razor burns. And it only lasts for a few days, but in my case, like 24 hours. Next we have tweezing, which is basically plucking your hair out of its follicle with a tweezer. It's simple and cheap but can be very painful and you can't really use it for areas with a lot of body hair such as your legs. Then we have the classic waxing, which is basically putting hot wax on your skin and ripping it off. It does get rid of the hair for a while but ow, it is so painful. Then we have sugaring, which is basically the same process but it's more of a natural method that just uses basically sugar and water I believe but it's still painful. Then we have threading, which is done by doubling and twisting a thin cotton or polyester thread, which is then rolled over areas of unwanted hair, plucking the hair at the follicle level. And again, so painful. I once got my eyebrows threaded at the mall. It felt like little needles like digging into your skin and like poking it like over and over again. It was horrible. Moving on, we have hair removal creams. These are okay, but they can still like really burn if you don't do it properly. And the hair is still growing back at a faster rate because you're not getting rid of the hair from the actual like follicle root whatever it's called then we have things such as laser hair removal which is pretty long lasting but it requires multiple sessions and is pretty expensive and there are probably other methods you can use to remove your hair but those are basically like the main methods that most people use now I want to get into the discussion of why do we actually shave okay well this depends on the person you're asking for most people or for most women, I would say, they do it because body hair is gross. And why do they say that? Because we as a society have conditioned women to believe that any body hair on a woman is unacceptable and disgusting. It's not feminine for a woman to have body hair. Okay then, so then why is it fine for us to have it on our heads or our eyelashes. Because if you think about it, the main reasons why we have body hair is to one, keep us warm and you know protect us from unwanted bacteria and things of that nature. Yet people say that having underarm hair is unhygienic and unladylike. First of all, how is it unhygienic that your body chooses to grow hair to protect itself? How does that work? Second of all, why is it sexy for a guy to have leg hair or armpit hair, but it's not for a woman? So men can have chest hair and have a beard but we can't it just doesn't make any sense to me this is truly the definition of a double standard people are just picking and choosing what is beautiful and what isn't it's normal to have body hair on your eyebrows and your head but it's unladylike for you to have it on your legs what is this do you know how much it costs over time to keep buying razors and hair removal creams and to do all this stuff to get rid of this hair and for what to fit in the definition of a societal beautiful woman this world is so sad because now I personally like for me I feel insecure if I don't shave my armpits or my legs because society has injected me with the notion that if I don't shave then I'm not feminine and I'm not pretty or if I say screw it and don't shave my legs and wear a skirt I get called a feminist like I'm not trying to prove some statement or make a point like I'm just trying to live my life I don't see the issue in that yet there's always some type of problem with it and it makes me feel so infuriated and insecure when I hear guys saying that like oh if you don't shave down there then that's disgusting and I can't be with you when in reality they're just conditioned to think that way because in prehistoric times men did not even give a care about that 
at all. Because back in the old days, everyone had body hair, so it was just a normal thing to have. Even though most people do think that body hair on a woman is disgusting, there is a trend on TikTok that's going around where women and girls are redefining what it means to be feminine while using the song Woman by Doja Cat. They're trying to convey the message that being a woman is basically just being yourself and that's it. You don't have to wear makeup, wear pink, and be hairless to be considered feminine. Our bodies are beautiful and we shouldn't let anyone else tell us otherwise. Now, is it a bad thing to get rid of your body hair? No. I even know a lot of guys that shave wherever they want because it's their personal preference and there's nothing wrong with that. It's our body so it's our choice to decide what we want to do with it. So me not waxing my upper lip doesn't have anything to do with you so I don't know why you're making a big issue about it. Like why do we have to give people an explanation as to why we shave or don't shave a certain part of our body? Like even the origins of women removing hair were ridiculous. Women began shaving their hair in 1915 which was the period between World War One and World War II. Before then, women just removed their hair and their neck and their face area because that was like the only parts that were visible because, you know, back then they did wear more clothing so they didn't show other parts of their body. And in the 18th century, people began considering women's faces as a reflection of their character and porcelain complexions as beautiful, which is so baffling to me because it's like, why do I have to have a perfect and porcelain and face. I mean, the thing is, is that no human body is perfect and porcelain, so how am I supposed to emulate that? Moving on. So therefore, getting rid of facial hair was considered a matter of morality and aesthetics. It was also considered to be submissive to have no facial hair, which is still something that doesn't add up to me. You would think that being a submissive person has to do with personality and character and your presence and demeanor, but apparently it depends on your facial hair. At this point, I'm I don't have anything to say. I mean, okay. During this time, they were using tree resins and waxes to remove hair, which was extremely excruciating for them. And in the 19th century was when the invention of the T-shaped safety razor was made. And during this time, people often linked shaving with masculinity, but gradually women adopted them since they were cheap and painless and an alternative method compared to other methods of hair removal. So now we fast forward to today's time period and beauty standards now are insane. Man can't wear pink because it's only for girls. Only ladies can wear makeup because if you wear makeup and you're a guy, then you're gay. Women can't ask a guy out because that's too masculine and disgusting if they do. Only women can get their nails done and take care of themselves. And only men are allowed to have body hair. I think I covered the basics. Because if a woman has a single piece of straight hair on her chin, it's unhygienic, unclean, and disgusting. It's literally 2023, like more than 2,000 years that the world has been a thing and we're still treating human beings like this. We are still judging people by how they look, dress, and choose to present themselves. My thing is, is that like, why do people care enough to commit to other people's life and well-being? This is my life, not yours, so why are you worrying about it? Why are you taking time out of your day to worry about how I'm choosing to half my body. There's, I mean, what? You're really gonna take time out of your day and judge me for not waxing my left toe. Let's normalize the fact that it's biologically correct for most women to have body hair everywhere and that there's nothing wrong with it. We don't have to shame and put women and girls down for having something that was made to protect them. All right, guys, I really enjoyed making this video. I actually made a video about body hair a couple of, actually like a year ago, but I just really wanted to redo it because body hair is something that means so much to me because I've, you you know, my whole life I've always been super subconscious about my body hair and I've always felt so insecure and it's just really sad that you know life is like this and I wish that we lived in a world where it wasn't I did and I didn't have to have razor burns and ingrown hairs to be considered beautiful and it's sad because I even within myself sometimes if a girl will walk across the street and you know she won't shave her armpits or her legs sometimes I'll kind of look at her kind of weird and be like huh be, and that's just me because I've been so subjected into the society that now it's like, I feel like I'm being brainwashed to think that having body hair on a woman is such a terrible thing and it's just really sad. Anyways, leave your comments down below. I just love when people comment on my videos. It makes my day. If you did enjoy this video and had a good time like I did, but also had a really annoying time at the same time, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And of course, I'm gonna upload every single week for you guys. And if I don't 
upload one week then assume I'm dead. All right, see you guys next week. Bye.